Still, this war seems to resemble the War of the Lions more by the minute. History tells us towns were set ablaze all across the country back then as well. Really? That is said to have been the case, yes. Although the situation back then is very different compared to now. True enough. This war has been relatively bloodless in comparison, so something like this happening is a big deal. Still, in the long term, this is bound to hurt the Alliance's cause more than it will help. That's why I'm finding it so hard to picture that Rufus would give the go-ahead to do it. I think it's safe to say it was just Duke Alborea doing his own thing. He really seems to hate how Duke Cayenne's higher in practice than him in the Alliance. I'm sorry, but this is where we part ways. Captain, please let me disembark somewhere nearby. What? You can't be serious! You're not... You're not thinking of trying to settle things with your father alone, are you? <sighs> I can't believe you would even entertain the thought. You need to take a deep breath and calm down before you do something you regret, Eusis. How dare you? Don't act like you know the first thing about what I'm feeling right now. As a member of the Alborea family, I have a duty to stop my father. You have no right! We have every right to interfere, Eusis. This is clearly too much for one person to handle alone. Machias is right. You need to calm down and we need to think this over together. <sighs> yeah, this isn't like you at all. As your classmates and friends, it's not hard to imagine how terrible you must be feeling right now. But that's exactly why we want to help you. And I believe we can. We should discuss how to approach this matter together. I... <laughs> That's a class 7 I know. Still, this isn't a matter to be taken lightly. Your actions could have a profound effect on the war from here on out. If you're going to get yourselves involved, you're going to need to be prepared for the potential consequences. But I'm sure you guys know the deal at this point, right? We fully understand what you're saying. So far, we've tried to keep our interference with the war itself to a minimum. However, what just happened in Keldic was an act of terrorism against innocent civilians. We can't turn a blind eye to that. You're right. We're all agreed there. The market manager did a lot for us, both during our field study and when we were lying low there after the war broke out. I'm of the same opinion. He may be head of one of the four great houses, but the Imperial family can still make him answer for his crimes. So please, Use my position in this ship however necessary to bring him to justice. Thank you, Your Highness. All right, I think it's time we come up with a solid plan. We can't allow Duke Alborea to do anything so inhuman ever again. Thank you. Huh? Is there a call coming through? Where is it coming from? Um, bear with me a moment. This can't be right. It's coming from an airship owned by the Noble Alliance. How can that be? They must have sneaked into range. What should we do, Toa? I think I can shake them off if I try. No, put the call up on the screen. It's a pleasure to see you all again, especially you, my dear brother. 
And Princess Alphen is with you, too. Truly, it's an honor, Your Highness. Uh, Rufus! Goodness! Why are you calling us? I apologize for calling so abruptly. Rest assured, I have no intention of attacking or otherwise harming you. I'm calling because there is information of which I'd like to make you aware. Due to the rather sensitive nature of my message, this feed is a private communique for my personal airship. What could you possibly have to tell us? Does this concern Keldic by any chance? It does indeed. I imagine all of you have seen what befell the town yourselves. The attack on Keldic was instigated by Duke Alborea alone. We of the Noble Alliance do not in any way condone it. If you plan to confront the Duke about his actions, you need fear no interference from us. Mm hmm Oh, I get it. You want us to take him out, don't you? Surely not. The bulk of the Kreutzen Provincial Army is already under my control. The attack was carried out by a small contingent of soldiers who remain loyal to my father. At present, they've walled themselves up in Oroch's fort along with him. With the aid of the Imperial Army, you ought to be able to take the fortress without much trouble. This is insane. They're not as well trained as the ones who are serving you, so you don't mind losing them, do you? I'm impressed at how cold-heartedly objective you can be, Mr. Chief of Staff. Bet you'd love it if we ended up killing each other, so you'd have nothing to worry about, huh? <laughs> nothing of the sort, Miss Clausel. Still, there's no denying my father's actions will be a millstone around the neck of the Alliance going forward. But considering the position I hold, I can't very well publicly oppose him. And that's why I figured I might bring up the matter with all of you. Hmm. Well, I've said my part. Oh, and Eusis, this is an intensely family-centric affair, as I'm sure you realize. I'm very curious how you'll approach it. I... Well then, if you'll excuse me, I suppose I'll hope and pray for your success this once, as a sitting member of Thor's board of directors. Uh, nothing like using other people to do your dirty work. There remains a real possibility that this is a trap. Still, now we know the Alliance wants something done about Duke Alborea as much as we do. This could be the best chance we're ever going to get to stop him from wreaking more havoc. <sighs> I can't allow my father to commit any more of these unforgivable crimes. I will go to Aurok's fort and apprehend Duke Alborea myself. And it would mean the world to me if all of you were to lend me your aid. Do you even need to ask? Of course we will. We'll be with you every step of the way.